Hey guys, Kyle here with Hornbaker Acres. Um, today's video, I'm going to be doing a, uh, a removal. Um, I'm on my way there now to go at least just take a look at it to see what, what's going on. They say it's um, the colony is underneath a shed. So I'm bringing my FLIR cam and my bar scope with me um, to take a look at it and give the, uh, the potential client an estimate. Um, from my experience, these, these shed removals are usually pretty straightforward and easy. The, the most difficult aspect of doing a, a removal from the floor of a shed sometimes is uh, bees running everywhere, basically, you know. Um, as you're using the power tools, um, they're running from the area, so they may run further back than um, and away from the comb, especially as you start removing comb. Um, so it, sometimes it takes a while to get them all wrangled up kind of thing. Um, but I think I'm going to this time uh, try something different and uh, before I even get started, I will probably drill some pilot holes and um, spray some Honey Be Gone or Honey Robber or something to that effect, some sort of bee, bee repellent. Um, down in those pilot holes and I'll have those pilot holes all the way around the colony basically. Um, if I can use my flare cam to determine exactly where the colony is at. Um, that way as bees get spooked and stuff they start crawling as soon as they hit kind of like that magical barrier of honeybee repellent. Uh, then hopefully they don't move too far and it'll make uh, get to them a little bit easier. So anyway, um, I'll continue on once, uh, once I get there and we can take a look at this bad boy together. See you there. Alright guys, so here we are at the job site. Um, this is the, hopefully you guys can see that entrance that they're using um, I'll back away a little bit kind of see what we're working with here and see it's just a normal shed right um, the client said that this floor um, is a newer floor and it's actually on top of the old floor because the old, old floor is starting to sag and deteriorate a little bit um, so we may have to try and remove the entire new floor so we don't damage it too much to do the cutout Obviously, I'm going to have to move some items around and um, try and shoot it with the FLIR camera. Not certain that it's going to work because of uh, how hot it is today and how thick the floor might be, but we're going to give it a shot. I'll be back with you in a few. All right, guys, so here we are looking through the FLIR. Um, it's not throwing off much of a signature. Hopefully, the camera's picking that up. I'm not sure that it is. Um, because of the high heat in the shed, it's not going to throw off much of a signature but it is thrown off a signature enough to tell me that they are somewhere right here in this area um, so and then wait for the flare to reset there you go um, again not throwing much of a heat signature but enough for me to tell so then to verify that I'm going to use my bore scope, and I've already kind of located them to the bore scope and kind of awkward setup here. But as you can see on the bore scope, hopefully there's not too much glare. They're right there at this entrance. So they're right on the other side of this board right here, basically. They're right on the other side of that. Um, you know, and actually it took me a second to find them. Um, because it is such a, a small colony that uh, it was hard to find them that close to the board. Um, so I had to get the angle just right, and as you guys can see on that bore scope, they're right there, and they got a little bit of comb. Um, so it should be a pretty simple and straightforward job. Um, I'm going to talk to the client, see if they want to remove the new flooring before I get started. Um, I'm not going to get it done today. Um, hazard of working nights and weekends. I got to work tonight, and I worked last night. Um, so I told him we'll have to uh, follow up at a later time. But anyway, so that's that's it for now, guys. Um, 
this video can, will continue on in a few with uh, me doing the actual removal. Hey guys, so here we are. We're back at the shed. Um, it's been about two weeks since uh, we last looked at these ladies. The, the client had to go on vacation. Um, and then this is the first opportunity since the client's been back from vacation that I've been able to get to this. Um, what I've done so far is uh, I've, I've flared it and there's a little bit of a heat signature, not much. Um, and then I've also used my, I use a drill to drill a pilot hole and I use my bore scope to look down in there. On at least this side of it, on the, the inside side of it, I'm seeing a lot of uh, dry comb um, and not a lot of bee activity. So they may have swarmed out. I do see bees going in and out. Um, it may be the bees left behind that didn't get a chance to uh, raise another queen um, because of how new the colony was. Uh, it also could be the bees absconded, they just completely left and uh, left some comb behind and other bees are kind of drawn to either scout bees or uh, robber bees, something to that effect. Um, but I won't really know uh, because of the lack of ability to really bore scope the entire thing. What I'm looking at until I really cut into it, I do have some bees flying around here and there and there. Um, but I'm gonna reposition the camera so that way you guys can kind of see what I'm doing and then um, I'm gonna get started. All right, so as you guys can see, I've uh, outlined kind of my cut area. And I've attached some handles. So this idea I've actually uh, I'm actually stealing from Jeff Horshoff of Jeff Horshoff Bees. Uh, hopefully I'm saying his last name uh, correctly. Uh, but I, I saw that originally on his channel. He does a lot of removals. Um, he, he does it very professionally looking. So uh, huge shout out to him. I'm going to uh, link his channel in the description. Also another channel I'm going to link in the description is uh, the 628 Dirt Rooster channel with uh, Randy McCaffrey. He does a ton of removal videos as well. They're very well put together, very educational. Um, so obviously I've, I've watched a bunch of their videos. I've done quite a few removals myself, but by watching their videos, I've been able to kind of fine tune uh, my removals and, and uh, use some tips and tricks that they had. So, so anyway, here we are, I'm all set up. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Yep, we definitely got a call right here. They go back further than I thought they would. Oh, except they got 
savaged by wax moths. Quick look for the queen. Alright guys, so um, it's gone now. Um, it ended up being a, a pretty small hive. Uh, a lot of comb, but very few bees. Um, I saw a lot of evidence of wax, wax moths. Um, also saw some hatched swarm cells, several of them. But no signs of a queen, no, no eggs, no brood of any kind. Um, and it's been queenless for a while, it looks like. So what it looks like to me is that they swarmed out but failed to requeen. Uh, so this colony was kind of doomed anyway. It's a pretty small colony, not a lot of bees to it, um, no salvageable comb. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it home and uh, probably put it in a nuke box with a brood, uh, frame of brood in it. Um, and that way they can raise out their, their own queen. Uh, but I'll show you what we were left with here. Still kind of cleaning up my mess. Um, just, it's just kind of, I had to do a lot more cutting than I wanted to. Um, it's apparent to me that this is, um, this colony has been here for a while. Not this exact colony, but that comb has been there for a while. There's probably been several colonies, um, in this shed over the years. Especially by the, the amount of wax moth debris, cocoons, and, and destroyed comb, and old brittle comb. Um, so that's kind of what I was working with here. Um, but it's gone, and, uh, I haven't told the client yet about it, but... Um, I'm going to get this thing cleaned up and get these ladies home and hopefully give them a fresh start with uh, the ability to raise out a new queen. If not, then it is what it is. You know, you can't save them all. We try to, but you can't save them all. So, as I always say, uh, thank you for your support. It's, it's greatly appreciated. Make sure to check us out on Facebook as well, Hornbaker Acre LLC. Um, also, if you enjoy this video at all or any of my other videos, please give it a like. Make sure to share it, and if you could, please subscribe. It uh, it helps helps uh, me keep doing what I'm doing. You know, the more su subscribers I have, the more I see that people want to continue to see what I have to offer and um, kind of the experiences that I'm going through. So again, thanks for watching. And happy beekeeping.